This is Ed. And this is Phoebe. <sighs> it's the last day. <laughs> I know. It's super sad. Yeah. It, it, now's the Wind. mentally preparing yourself for the trip home. Uh-huh. De-vacationing your brain and yeah. business. Bleh. But I will say... To put some excitement into this podcast, we had a pretty interesting evening. Interesting is a really good word to describe it. <laughs> it was fun. It was dangerous, but it yes. was fun. I had fun. Ed had a little less fun. <laughs> yes, Phoebe had, I think, all the fun. <laughs> but there you go. Sometimes it works out that way. I, I took one in the face i mean in the for the team uh, last night not 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 literally for the team but you did take one in the face yes we will describe that soon so we we got up as usual had breakfast did our podcast stuff had lunch and then it was off to pool time now since we did not connect with our yoga friends the day before and we looked everywhere for them we were looking for them yesterday yeah and we never found them. In fact, we still haven't found them. We still them. haven't seen them. We didn't see them at last night's event. We haven't seen them this morning for breakfast. They've just no. poof, disappeared. Yeah, nothing. So we failed when we should have locked in a date. We should have said, you know, let's meet you at the pool at 1 p.m. or 12 p.m., whatever. Right. The date got more specific with that commitment. And we didn't. I just, I forget... So if, if you're listening to this episode yeah. and his name starts with an M and her name starts with a K and you live in Chico, reach out to us and give us your contact information because we do want to connect with you and we weren't able to give you our contact card, our ho card. So if you're listening to this, we'd still like to get together. Yes. we Hopefully we will stalk them on uh, the LLV website and hopefully connect with them there after we will see that doesn't always work out well but yeah until you hand someone your phone and have them put their contact information in there no guarantees there's no guarantees even the ho cards don't work so that is the best way is to have people put their shit in your phone and you just follow up because they won't they'll still right. forget it right they'll lose your card or yeah i know Various things. Yes. Yep. So the rest of the day was relaxing. Like I said, we had lunch. Oh, I tried this fruit called sour sap fruit. Super. Tastes like gummy bears. It was amazing. And I stole some seeds because I wanted to plant them in California. Then I realized uh, it gets too cold there and they'll die. It's a South American fruit. So eh, I'm no just going to have to order it and have it delivered. It's so freaking good. Oh my god, so good. And it was a really weird looking fruit. It was weird. It was white. You guys could check it out. But anyway, they don't want to hear about the fruit. They want to hear about the fucking. Mm. And so we fucked. And it was good. And we take some photos. And we posted, and we posted, posted some. Mm-hmm. Instagram mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was kind of an interesting session because you were relaxing out on the patio and I was kind of laying down face down kind of <sighs> relax kind of a nap were, kind of not yeah you weren't feeling so resting. well it's that stomach thing intestinal thing that we still have um, but, from uh, drinking the water i sent phoebe a little <laughs> text message and he's like she what you doing looked inside and saw me laying there naked i thought he was asleep i was like wait is this a delayed text message or is he awake because i couldn't see his face and i couldn't see the phone I was like, oh, this must have been a delayed message. But I responded anyway. I figured he'd get it when he woke up. And then I got another message, and he's like, come in here. Take some pictures. (laughs) So I did. And then that turned into other fun stuff. More pictures. A little face-sitting and Uh touching. and Mm -hmm. Nice, wet penetrative mm-hmm. sex mm-hmm. 
little afternoon fun. Yeah, so I guess you weren't that sick. I'm never that sick. (laughs) Oh, it was nice. It was relaxing. And then it was, gosh, dinner time. I mean, mean, we really didn't do a lot. It was relaxed and chill. Yeah, I think we spent most of the afternoon going through social media feeds and updating photos and just kind of mm-hmm. having fun posting sexy stuff and yeah a little little We'd, us time yeah with the sexy stuff since everyone else was taking us time we decided to take some us time for ourselves yeah and and literally there was nobody at the pool not not nobody but there were a lot of people who had gone on the excursion that we talked about yesterday there was another group that went today yeah or this day yes so it okay. was just dead dead but dinner was great uh they did the theme night was white night and right. they moved the festivities down to the pool and when i say festivities the b- full bar was down below they had food all the lights the 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 disco music, all everything was set up down below. It was really beautiful. They did a good job. Yeah, it was tables. You know, cocktail tables, top table. We call them standing tables. Yeah, bar height Height tables. Um, Around, um, not a lot of dancing, but a lot of conversation. Yeah, which was nice. You could mingle and and move around and chat. That would have been a great theme for the the second night. Mm. that we were here mm. everybody settled in you get your one day where you're kind of mm, getting your bearings mm-hmm. getting deprogrammed from the outside world and then the next night you do a big social thing mm-hmm. where everybody gets together they have conversations they meet they greet they mingle mm-hmm. everybody's present mm-hmm. you make those connections and then the rest of the week is just mm-hmm. sexy fun there's definitely a formula for this, which which I have figured out, but <laughs> yeah. just by going to all the events and being part of those local events, we have a really good event planner in our area, and we're very, very fortunate, and someday they're going to retire and sell that business, and we will be very sad, and at that point, we'll just have to move. Maybe. Maybe. I know. We're going to have to move to one of these other states where everyone is that like texas tennessee florida canada i don't know and then we could hit a state where they have actual clubs where you could yeah. physically go there and yeah. any week you just feel like going you could mm-hmm. just go exactly i know so ooh, i was gonna cough in y'all's face but i did not what what else happened at the pool? Lots of conversation. And then we talked with our North Carolina friends. And they gave us an invitation to go upstairs and play side by side with them. Which we talked about earlier because we found out that they were not swingers. Mm-hmm. That uh, they just enjoyed the sexy environment. We've been kind of referring to that mindset as lifestylers at this point. Right. Um, I don't know if we're redefining the term or not. I am. But, I did. But uh, <laughs> it's. <clears throat> we have certainly found, especially this week, a large group of people who just like the sexy environment, mm-hmm. but we don't see a lot of playing with couples. Mm-mm. Um, and even the playroom, saying that the playroom was full, uh, that we we heard about, it, it was like six or eight couples mm-hmm. in, in the playroom. And there's way more than six or eight couples here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it just doesn't seem like a, a high amount of cross-pollination going on. And even if you count people going back to their rooms, I don't think there's that many people going back to rooms and playing. Mm-mm. So, no, it's been it's, interesting. Yeah, they are people that enjoy the lifestyle, and then, and they've done multiple LLV vacations kind of back-to-back. There are several couples that have done that, where they get off of one and they come to this one. So, they've been gone for a month almost now, and yeah, they're just on vacation. It's just they're 
fun, sexy time for themselves, which is fine. Um, but it's not what I would call a swinger vacation. Yeah, and, and not it's not what swinger we rich. Signed up for. Hmm? And not what we'd signed up for. No. Mentally, what we'd no. signed up for. No. And as I said, the, the, the playroom, um, and, and we'll talk about that again. Um, there were a few improvements, but we'll go into that. So we, we, we went, well, our friends announced, hey, you know, basically, you know, they don't upstairs. swing and we knew that. So, but you can come play next to us side by side. It's super fun to watch people have sex next to us. And we're like, all right, we're in. So they went up to lobby to, to eat. They got some snacks and they went up to eat. And I was like, why are they going all the way up there to eat? And I'm like, oh, well, whatever. And then we, uh, we ran into another couple from the LA area, kind of wallflowers, they admitted, yeah. but they were more chatty because they had had a little bit to drink. Right. By their own admission. They're super cute. And they had a lot of great questions. It was yeah. awesome. And this was their only, their second event ever. Yeah. Lifestyle swinger ever. Yeah. Anything. So they were just probably really overwhelmed. <laughs> but but doing well enough that they were oh. thinking of questions and asking questions, yes. which means that they're curious and they've got an appetite for finding out more and kind of getting past the hurdle. So, of course, we gave them our tip of introducing themselves to, you know, to one or two couples. At each event. At each event. Mm -hmm. and, and this week, you know, if they'd done that, by the end of the week, they would have known mm -hmm. 16 couples. Mm -hmm. And had all that practice doing it. Right. But kudos to her for even asking these questions because oh, oh. I was afraid to ask all of these questions that she was asking because... You know, you're the new kid on the block. You don't, really, you don't want to look out. Yeah, what are the questions you can ask? Like, how do you? I didn't know what questions were offensive. I didn't want to be look like you were the new kid on the block. I wanted to pretend. But yeah, I'm sure everyone knew. I should have just went with it and asked right. the questions anyway. So yeah, that was super cute. Wish they were closer to us because they'd, they'd be fun to play with. Yeah, but they're a quick flight down. Only about an hour away. That's true. And we'll be down in the Palm Springs area. So for yes. podcast a palooza. Yes. In yes. Palm Springs. So come join us, please. Go to our webpage and check it out. And what else? Oh, so we, great conversation with them. And then I think that lasted, oh, I don't know, a good half hour. And then we decided to head up to go find our North Carolina couple. Yeah. Because they hadn't come back down. So we thought, well, let's go see where they're at. And they so may need help. We, we went up to the upstairs lobby area. They weren't there. We're like, huh, maybe they went to the playroom. To so the playroom, lo and behold, they are in there. And I'm like, well, And they were the only ones in there. Yes, they were the only ones in there, and, yeah. And this was, it had to have been midnight. Yeah, oh my or, gosh. Or one. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what time it was. I had a really great nap before, so I was, felt like 8 o'clock to right. me. I was raring to go. Time flew. Yeah. So we go in. <clears throat> we grab some towel. By the way, they did a better job on the playroom. They they uh, they made the dental lobby look less dental office. Right. They had more lighting. They had flowers. A little table set up. They had water set up on the water table. Waters and tables. Yes. Condoms. But I will say the car still i noticed the carpet was dirty dirty carpet and that musky mildewy smell i can't stand it it's a trigger for me yeah uh, none of the rooms smell like that but this room smelled like that and, and it was just ugh. and it's probably not used very often and with yeah. the humidity down here it mm -hmm. probably just gets a little yeah and i bet during high conference season or whatever they probably run a carpet cleaner through there and like freshen it up again or, or not. again not really set up for swingers swingers afterthought and we'll go more into right. why i still think the swinging part was the afterthought so we I grabbed some towels i go in there swinging my towel above my head do 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 do, do, do we're here <laughs> and they're like hey so we get naked and then i start playing you know a lot of soft touching and sucking and nibbling and they were canoodling and whispering in each other's ear and just as Ed and I started 
to get going. They were getting up to get dressed. And we're like, where are you going? Yeah. I think they'd actually finished before Wait. we'd come yes. in. And they were just, you know, in, cuddling. In the glow. Right. So they were done. And so I said, well, you can stay and watch. And they're like, no. Nah. I'm like, well. <laughs> so we missed, we missed out on that. <clears throat> so they left. So we're in there by ourselves. We're having a great time. Then all of a sudden, bum, all right, bum, bum. <clears throat> here's where it gets good and dangerous. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Ed and I were fucking. And the blowfish couple walks in. Now, I'm not, we did we talk about the blowfish couple earlier on? We had a tweet about them, I think. Um, I don't recall if we actually went into detail with them. The blowfish couple are a super sexy couple. I and Ed have been checking out this woman's ass all fucking week long. Yeah, she's always wearing these high, high way hipped, high um, thong, thong bikini. Entire one ass piece, is showing. These things. Yeah, and it's just like this great <sighs> caramel brown butt. butt. Uh, so every She's... breakfast we get a full meal course walking by. <laughs> oh my god! Super sexy, super Dark sexy. black jet hair and just oh, curvy, and her husband's tall and broad-shouldered and dark hair and oh my goodness! So very, very, very attractive, uh -huh. dark-skinned couple that yes. just looks yummy. Oh yeah, they're so beautiful, and so. In they come to the playroom, and I'm like, holy crap, holy crap. So she flops down on the bed across the room, and she's a little bit loud. And I was like, oh, she might have had something to drink. And, and I thought they were going to get busy. All of a sudden, Ned and I are still going at it. So we're looking over there at them, and I hear, come over here. And then I hear it again, come over here. I'm thinking, was she talking to her man? Because he actually, I don't know where he was. He was behind her. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, wait, she's talking to us? She's talking to him? I was a little confused. So we didn't acknowledge because I, I didn't we know. know. Yeah. And all of a sudden, <laughs> she comes running over to our bed. And like flops down on flops the bed. Flops down. Next. No asking. No, no nothing. No introduction. And she's like, hi. And so... That was kind of fun and light and playful, and we've had people do that, and it is fun. But because she had had a bit to drink, she was a bit floundery. So, like, her arms and her legs and stuff is kind of flopping, like, all over. And we're like, okay, woo, woo, all right, let's scoot over on the bed. Kind of the Tasmanian devil cartoon <laughs> with the arms and legs kind of flying out of the whirlwind. That was, that's what I was seeing. But we're like, well, like, well, let's get this woman some dick so she can calm down. That did not happen. No. So, so, <laughs> my God. So, so this was, mind you, this was the, the woman with the, my ass feels like a blowfish. I need some pizza. If you haven't seen that tweet. Yeah. yeah. This is her. Sexy as fuck. So then, oh, oh, and by the way, apparently, we find out later, he was checking me out on day two when I got coffee on my boob and I'm tr on my nice white shirt and I'm trying to get the coffee out and I'm rubbing the, the water and the paper towel on <laughs> my it nipple. It was right on Phoebe's nipple. So she's, she's got this like hard, wet, <laughs> protruding nipple and Mr. at <laughs> breakfast. Mr. Bluefish is like, oh, I saw you. I saw you rubbing that paper towel on your nipple. And first I was like, What's going on over there? And then I realized you must have got something on it. And then when your nipple went hard, he's like, oh, that's when everything down below just went right up. <laughs> everything is like right at attention. And he's like, oh, when that that's nipple went Phoebe. hard, I was done. He is always putting on a show. And I was like, really? You saw that? He's like, hell yes, I saw that. And I'm like, oh, I was trying to hide. He's like, there was no hiding that. It was, it was very tasty. Uh, so, so, yeah. So it was on. It was 
on. So there was no asking. There was really no introduction. We were just, uh, for each other, we were a tease for both of us all week long. So there wasn't really this need for, hey, what's your style introduction we just get past all that we just knew we really wanted to get with them and they clearly wanted to get with us and we're like yeah let's just do it right and we found them attractive and we were on the yeah. same bed and that Co- just that just kind of happens like clearly they're there to have sex because they're in the playroom right. which is one of the nice things about playrooms but still i mean this was play by play i oh, thought yeah. we were just going to do side by side i didn't make any assumptions i had no idea what their style was Right. Not until she started attacking me, and I was like, oh, she is interested in girl play. All right, okay, this is cool. We could do that. And so a lot of kissing. She a lot was, of girl play. A lot of, okay, so this was really good. Now, I will say she was a bit aggressive probably because she was drunk. So there was a lot of tongue, a little more tongue than I liked, and somehow her finger was getting in there. <laughs> At one point, I was like, do you have a tongue ring? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, that must have been your nail. <laughs> It's like, why is your finger in my mouth? <laughs> I don't know. She was, she was, she was a little it much. Was, it was an interesting experience. It is. It was. It was not my preference for play because it was aggressive, but it was also fun. I was having a good time. It, there was a lot of, but it was, was a lot of, of sexual energy there, which is kind yes. of exciting. Where. Where I drew the line was when I started getting injured. Right. Yes. So she went. She started to kiss me, but he Ah. was fucking her from behind. And she, her, and when I say she went in to kiss me, it was teeth first, Mm -hmm. lips behind. Yeah. And she just shoved her teeth straight into my upper lip and split my lip right open also posted on instagram right so i'm bleeding and i can taste the blood Mm -hmm. um and and i was like oh okay that was just an accident but then every other kiss mouth-to-mouth contact with her was there was a lot of teeth multiple fingers nails in the mouth lots of teeth and tongue you think you're kissing but then all of a sudden it's just teeth and then there's a tongue and then it's back to the teeth and <laughs> I it's like know. It, what happened to your lips lady they're, I they're know. like gone i know it so, was the drunken play it, and and i think what it is is people get drunk and they do the things that are sexy but it's exaggerated Right. right, like it's yes. sexy to nibble and it's sexy to right. you know lick and tongue and you know put fingers around lips, but when you're drunk, it's it's very awkward. It's so this exaggerated. was a little mixed bag for 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 us. I I had a great time and we'll continue to talk about it. Um, Ed, not so much. Um, it was more rough than we liked, but the the build up for this couple was all week long that right. i i really wanted to play with them and i would play with them again if she was sober if she was more sober and if we talked about more of those preferences right so i have not taken them off our list at all if i ever see them again i don't even know where they live but I know Ed has a different I have some, experience because I have some something, PTSD. something else happened to you with a foot and it, right. and it was a bit scary. So, so at one point she was on top of me and she was literally smothering me. I couldn't breathe. I was pressing her, ch- her, her chest, her boobs. I grabbed both of her boobs and I'm pressing them up off my, my face. I couldn't fucking breathe. Oh, I wonder why your legs were twitching like that. <laughs> I was about to pass out. And I'm like, I couldn't talk. I was like, okay, this is going south bad. I lost an earring. Oh, my Lord. So, and then, so this is where, like, flounder turns into octopus legs. Every, like, with the whole sea life theme here. Right. Blowfish, flounder, octopus. Like, it was a hot mess. And then... At some point, um, she said, I, I, you know, I just want her, right? Right. And this so, is just girl time. Girl time. She's like, this is just girl time. And, and she's 
pushing her husband away. And she's like, no touching to him. No touching. She's like, you can you can have it when I say no touching. That's just me, which I loved. It was super cute. And she was all about me. And it was fun. It was fun. I, again, I said, prefer if she wasn't as drunk because it would have been more sensual. But we got to have a lot of play. She got to lick my pussy. I got to lick her. Oh, my God. Her pussy was so nice. Well, all women's pussies are nice. I but agree. I say hers because it's not mine, right? So it's different. It's be- it's beautiful. It was cute and smooth and, like, neatly she tucked had a nice in. Pussy. And she had a very nice pussy. And at some point, I was rubbing her clit while her man was inside of her. And I could feel her clit's like mine where, like, she likes the top rubbed where it like goes in you know right. the little bump back and forth mm. where the root of it is not top the, the tip he- top of the hood no down the the top, top. not the bottom of the hood where the clit Cl- comes correct. out correct top yes. top so her and i are going at it we are the boobs I, I at one point i i twisted her nipples again i didn't know she liked hard nipple play so i was like it's all on she's all over me i'm all over her so i'm like twisted her nipples and she's like I'm like, aha. <laughs> and then she attacked me. And then I was like, <laughs> so, oh my God, it's so fun. I mean, we must have had a good five, 10 minutes of just going Gosh. at it. But, yeah. but she was so, like, it, you couldn't stay in one position long it enough. It was very ADD. Yes, it, it was, was very ADD. It was flip, was flip flop, flop, twist, <laughs> whatever. I'd like just about get in her. And then she'd want to change positions. Like I, yeah. It was like two strokes, and then it was like position change. Yes. When we when we got to swapping, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I know. So I, I I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, so I would have liked to have a little more grounded quality time with her. Uh, yeah. So then when you were in so her, then we swapped. Yeah. And you and Mr. Blowfish were playing. Yeah. And. Uh, we decided to have a little finger play. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was so good. Fuck. He was good. Yeah. He was, you were squirting. He, she was squirting. He was good as you. And then he t- he did a, the double-handed thing where... On the clit and inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fun. And he had this rhythm. And, I, oh, my God. He made me squirt. And then I said, do not stop. And then I went again. And I said, keep going. And then I went again. And he was having the time of his life. She was enjoying it. And you were doing her at the same time. Oh, yeah. She was spraying all over the place. And then she scooted over next to me. And she's like, all right, let's do it together. So by the by this time, her and I both had, had three or four squirting orgasms. And so now we're like, she's like, all right, now we got to do it in tandem. And right. I'm not her words, my word. And so I'm like, oh, God, I don't know if I can do a fifth time. Of course. Sh- sh- sure enough. <laughs> so <clears throat> there we go. We're squirting again. And, uh, oh, my God, it was so fucking fun. We were showered. She was laughing. The bed was destroyed. Which was funny because they gave us towels when we came in. but Totally the, useless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like a paper bulletproof vest. I mean, it's just going right through. Yeah. And I will say, they did not come in afterwards and change the sheets again. No. Not an experienced playroom. And the person who was kind of watching the playroom wasn't even in the lobby. Yeah, was it we monitoring? We walked to ask the question of, hey, should we change the sheets? And so by the time we found her, I was like, I'm not going to go back in. Like, well, I just assumed she would. The reason I know she didn't was because we went back to find the earring, and she said she hadn't even been in the room. Right. And we went back to the bed and was still soaked. And the cheeks were... And I was like, oh, that's not cool. You're supposed to change that shit out. Right. Anyway. Hence, there you go. not set up for swinging. So, so yes, the so finger fucking. And then full swapping. And so, you know, condoms on. And then he started fucking me. And then he goes... Well, we went a little... He went a little deep. And he goes, his first words were, oh, I know you can take it. I've seen your husband's dick. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, yes, I can. Just be careful with that angle because there are some angles is not so great. And so he was fucking me. And there was a couple little angles where he got me and I was like, whoop. 
I don't know if I hit her angles or not because <laughs> she just, it was, I, it was so hard to read her. And like I said, you know, two, two or three strokes in and then she wanted to flip over. Yes. And then How? when she's, yes. How was downward? Doggy. Well, I'll get to that. I haven't gotten to the doggy oh, yet. Oh, oh, okay. So we were in missionary, and I was mm-hmm. penetrating her, which was fun. Mm-hmm. And then she flipped over, and as she flipped over, she kicks me in the dick with her foot. Ah. Uh, which, of course, is kind of a boner killer at that yeah. point. Um, not to mention the fact that I can't maintain any kind of stimulation to keep going because the pussy gets ripped away from me. <laughs> so it's like... Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not laughing. really having sex at this point. Oh. No, no, it's and it's all good, but it's it's one of those experiences where you go, oh yeah, that's right. That's why we don't fuck drunk people. Yeah, um, because hmm. it's one of those you're you're not really connected with the person. Right. You're not. You're never sure if they like what you're doing or you don't. Right. They're just making noise and flopping around. Right. Is it really good or is it just I know. they're in their own head? But anyway, so she flips over. Yes. And I'm about to get into her in the, the prone bone position, which is oh, like yes. completely flat on oh, the stomach. I love this position. Love and I really would have loved to have her ass in that position. Yes. And I just about got in her and then she got up and and moved again and did something else i don't even remember what it was at this point it was all she just probably like came over to kiss me mm-hmm. pr- probably and then she came back and then she was up on her knees and at that point it was just sh- she would kind of sit down squat a little bit so mm-hmm. i was like okay i'll get it at this angle and then she would sit up and then i would have to like move to meet her and then she'd move again and so i i couldn't get back in her right cuz oh, it was God. just it was like a moving target. <clears throat> yes. Yes. I'm sorry. And that's where I just said, white flag, I'm done. And so I, Ed. I'll call it. I'm calling a technical on this. Ed sat back for a while and watched. And I've kind of Which felt. was kind of fun. Was it? Yeah. I kind of felt bad. Well, you looked like you were enjoying yourself. I was. Yeah. I was, but. Even, this was mostly a Phoebe but then, event. But then. <laughs> Mrs. Blowfish was coming in and distracting Mr. Blowfish and my experience because I wanted to get in different angles too. I wanted the side angle with him, which feels really good. And he right. was like, he's like, what do you mean side angle? I'm like, oh, this where you like grab my ass and my, and my leg and my thigh and just like pound me from the side. And he's like, what? And I'm like, here, I'll show you. And I was trying to get into that position, but then Mrs. Blowfish came in came there and in she and kept interrupting. And so I didn't thing. really get him in that position. And I, I really wanted him in that. I wanted that. And I would have loved to have distracted her, but there was no <laughs> stopping that woman. She was, was just, like I said, was, Tasmanian Dazzle, arm spinning, <laughs> legs everywhere. It was just I a was, hot mess. I know. I know. Hot mess. And, and, sh- <sighs> and it was funny. We saw them. Uh, this morning at I breakfast. I didn't think she would remember me at all. But she did. Let's, well, she recognized us in some capacity. We're not sure what <laughs> capacity. But uh, looked lovely this morning. Her hair was all, you know, Done. taken care of. And yeah. not as unkempt and wild as it was last <laughs> night. But it's funny because in the morning, she's she's very, you know, calm and elegant and kind of walks around. But last night, it was just... 180 degree different just yeah wild crazy. wild woman Pow. yeah yes but i had a very good time mr blowfish was a great listener he knew when he was going a little too deep and he he acknowledged that he's like oh i know the sound of that voice i know when i've hit hit it too deep yeah and i was like oh thank you you know so he 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 was really good um, I would definitely play with him again. I would definitely play with her again. She cannot be that drunk. No. That that would be a killer. And and we do have L- friends. I mean, literally a killer. I mean, I might actually die. <laughs> you I mean, there was some blood loss uh, this time, but. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> I, you know what? We have experiences like this sometimes, and you just have to accept that it's, yeah. it is not. 50 50 split every time you play no. i mean sometimes it's 80 20 this, this was, is about 
97 3 and but this this was definitely full contact swinging oh yeah for sure yeah i'm gonna bring a helmet next time <laughs> face guard no so would you say this was on the lines of sport fucking then um or no more like mma fighting oh <laughs> it's uh, yeah the, if if the sport yeah. was i get punched in the so face repeatedly much movement there you go there, that's what happened with no consent no conversation just Implied being attacked consent let's let's go there <laughs> being attacked from across the room but you know it, now i will say if they were completely random like we didn't know them from adam hadn't seen them all week n- n- no yeah that would have been that would have been different scary. this would have been a club scene and they had approached us like that um you know, right we, that would have not gone down at all yeah but yeah but we'd had some semi-casual contact with them before we'd seen each other enough where it was and brief conversations at breakfast in the buffet line right so, yeah. right mm-hmm. all right everyone that was last night was last so night. today is packing a little bit of pool time and getting ready for our flight home so there is a theme tonight um we're not glitz. sure how much we're Fire going to participate ice. with the theme. I'm not. We'll, I brought a dress that's going to be way too hot. Yeah, last so. night was hot. We were in linen. Linen. And mm-hmm. you were in just like a... I didn't even wear the cover. shirt. Yeah. It wasn't even a bra. It's like, it was like a halter lace top. Yeah, it was, it was sexy. But the pants were warm. I was very warm. And the people jumped in the pool because they got hot. So yeah. it was warm. So tonight... There's no fucking way I'm going to wear that And I'm that not dress. wearing slacks and a button-down shirt. No. Which is what I planned. I think I'm just going totally... I may just wear my and mesh red shorts. Oh, see, that would work because fire and ice. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll wear the Swinger University shirt and shorts. But anyone, anyway, they don't want to hear about that. All right, everyone. This is going to be the last recording for a little while. Tomorrow we'll be gone all day traveling. So yeah. uh, we'll do a recap, another recap one, probably when we get back. We'll try to. We'll have a nice, relaxing sit at home yeah. and then get settled back. Thanks for listening and thanks for hanging in there with us. And uh, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll, we will. We'll do a recap on the whole thing. It'll be short Definitely. and sweet. Definitely. And before we go, mm-hmm. get your tickets to PCAP because mm-hmm. they are going and mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a hotel takeover and we have heard it's rave reviews about swinger. it. And it is definitely Swinger. <laughs> so there you go. All right, everyone. Before you turn off our podcast to take care of all the vanilla things pulling you away, please reach out and give us a review. I know, mashing a star is so much easier, but a review is so much better for sharing your love of what we're doing with others. We would appreciate it. If you want to share a personal story, ask us questions, or share your comments, you can contact us at swingeruniversity at gmail.com. Check us out at swingeruniversity.com, where you can find links to our Twitter and Instagram feeds. Thank you for listening to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment podcast.